Hey, this is NPC. Welcome to the first episode of my new recording project where I am going to be doing some Let's Plays of games in space. I'm calling this Space Games and Space Beers because uh, everybody's got to have a gimmick, right? Mine is I am drinking space themed beers with every one of these recordings. So the first game that we're going to be using is uh, an indie game that I'm very, very excited to showcase here because I feel like a lot of people don't know it exists. It does a single man studio, didn't do a lot of advertising, but it's a very, very fun game. This game is called Space Born, kind of fits the theme, right? Anyway, first beer of the evening, uh, first beer of the entire series. Yes. This is the Dark Star Imperial Oatmeal Stout from Fremont Brewing in Seattle, Washington. On the can, it says to go ahead and enjoy the journey. This is an 8% alcohol beverage. Uh, I'm not normally a stout drinker, but we'll see how this works for my taste buds. That's not bad. I mean, you know, it's a stout. I don't really normally have good things to say about stouts. I don't normally like eating my beer, but I could drink this tonight. This is going to kick things off very nicely. Here we go. Dark Star and Spaceport. So about this game. Again, it's an indie product. It's an indie project that uh, one man studio, I, I want to say Russia or somewhere, uh, definitely overseas. It's <laughs> really about as indie as you can get. If you're familiar with a lot of European games, uh, you're probably familiar with the concept of something that they call Eurojank. There's a lot of Eurojank in this. A lot of cut corners and a lot of, uh, you know, shaved edges here. But honestly, the ambition of this project and the, the aspirations, the passion that this developer put into making this game... I can deal with a lot in the in the name of, of good gameplay. And this game offers it. So let me tell you what it's not. This game is not the X series. This game is not, uh, what do you call it, a, a 4X game. Uh, this is not a real-time strategy. This is not a fleet building game. This is a single player RPG in space. There's third person on foot elements. There's first or third person space flying elements. Uh, you'll get skills that you can upgrade. You've got, uh, you can fly a spaceship and you can change that spaceship out as you see fit. But that's about it. You know, it's an RPG. It's not a grand economy simulator. A lot of people keep asking that question in the forums. It's not X. <laughs> if you want that kind of, uh, you know, grand scale economic simulation, play the X series. Uh, I recommend X4, but I also really like X Rebirth. Anyway, I'm rambling on for a while. Let's go ahead and get started playing this. This is Spaceborn, as I've said, single player RPG. There's a Spaceborn 2 coming out hopefully sometime this year. So hopefully this will help people uh, decide whether or not they want to get into that. So first to note, I'm using a Steam controller with this. I uh, used a very customized profile. It took me a long time to build this one out. I had been playing with a joystick, but a good friend of mine who only plays with the Steam controller wanted to know if it was possible. So I sat down and I spent a good amount of time making one. So this is my layout. I've got a default setup. Uh, I've got the left and right paddles you can see i've got set going to action layers i've got uh also the game has a built-in circular ring menu for quick access of things but i decided to bind it in a way that matched kind of like the mass effect style of binding it took a lot of work it's functional not perfect but it works for me so make sure i got the right things got one and two uh, that's going to do three, four, five, six, and there my rule. Got it. Boom. Let's do this. Here we go. We're going to start a new game. There are tutorials 
you can either play the tutorial separately, but if you start a new game, the tutorials are part of the process and they are unskippable. So might as well just start a new game. Uh, I like to do story mode. I mean, there's a sandbox mode. I haven't really played much with it. Story mode is where I'm at. And I play on easy because that's who I am. Keyboard and mouse because my Steam controller is set that way. And centered crosshair because I like to aim. Here we go. Cutscene time. We lost the ships at the wings, but we only have two of our engines still functioning. It seems we'll be dragging in the void for a while. I don't understand where things went wrong. Maybe if we had checked for points of ambush before starting this operation, things would be different. Anyway, what's happened has happened. Now, since it seems we have the time, maybe you could tell me the whole story from the beginning. As you wish. Everything started with Zone X's plan. The mission zone was a mess, so you had to scout the area first. And this is where the first tutorial on combat training would begin. Who are you to play it separately? has suffered a lot of damage. Let's check if all the functions are working. Let's check out ship's maneuvering systems. Good. Now let's try the rear thrust. No problem here. Let's try the thrusters. That's done as well. Now let's check the loot power. I'm worried about the turbo engines. Now let's try them out. This one also checks out. Let's take a final look at the ship navigation systems. Engines seem stable. Now let's check the energy systems and weapons. Each ship has three weapon slots, turret, laser, and missile. Each use of the weapon consumes certain amount of energy from the ship. You can follow your energy from the bar on the left. So the bar here shows how much energy you're using, and each one has a variable amount. The laser tends to take a lot and recharge slowly. Missiles, I mean, kind of the same too, but the, the laser is... Uh, notably slow. Also, this is the old UI in this video. I actually really like the old UI. I wish they had kept it, but eh, whatever. Now let's try laser weapons. Lasers are really good for destroying shields. Last, let's look at missiles. Since we don't have a target to lock, just firing two missiles to space will suffice. Yeah, missiles take the longest to recharge. 
weapons are in good condition. That's great. All functions are working perfectly. Now we can focus on our mission. I scan unidentified activity in this zone. Calling in reinforcements now would be unwise. First, we need to clear the way. According to my calculations, there are some ships approaching to that point. They will be caught off guard if you go and wait for them to come out. I really hate this font. It's, it's... Uh, they, they had... I don't know why he made this choice. I saw some of the earlier videos and the font was way better. This is just awful. Like in Comic Sans. <laughs> Look at stuff. Ugh. I see five frigate class ships approaching you. You need to be always on the move when fighting against frigate class ships. They can easily shoot still targets. We have to stay out of the fire range and on the tail of our enemy. Enemy detected. Alright, so if you played space games, you're probably familiar with a lot of the aiming. You, uh... When you're... These are pretty simple. It doesn't seem like they're dogfighting. But, uh... When we get more advanced fighting, you'll see what I'm talking about. There's, uh aiming particulars that you have to use. Beware, more are coming. In order to set the target, first you need to determine which target to focus on. You can do this with middle mouse button. If you can keep the target within your crosshair for a certain time, then you will lock on your target. All right, targeting for missiles. Enemy detected. See that little triangle? I'm gonna aim at that. There we go. Nice. Oh yeah, so it gives you a bunch of skills, but at this early in the game, you're just not going to know what any of these do, so press buttons! Enemy detected. Let's see what one of them does. Nice! And what does that one do? That's a defensive, I guess. Oh well. Huzzah. I've got bad news. I think Theater knows you are here. A large group is heading your way. Be ready. Out of here is oh yeah, so you have like a special ship ability. This ship does that. You've chosen your ship wisely. If you picked up another ship for the mission, it could be much harder getting out of here. Great. I think this area is cleared out. I see undefined activity in the junkyard. We'd better check that area before we call our ships. I want to kill that guy. Ah, well. <sighs> okay. Boom.
careful. This looks like a zone with flies. These ships have high maneuverability. It is not possible to get away from these ships as they are light and fast. That's why, it is very important to be able to move horizontally to fight the fly type ships. If you stay in this... Uh, yeah, Enemy yeah, detected. Yeah, yeah. Enemy detected. Third squad, come to my coordinates. Yes, sir. Ah, you can switch back and forth to first person if that's your thing. And, you know, I like first person in a lot of games, but this feels better in third. It just feels like a smoother experience. Ooh, bad guy. Enemy detected. Oh yeah. Come on. There we go. Sector 4 and wait for reinforcements. Company, move to Zone 4. Follow me.
everything began with the arrival of our guests. First, they spread a disease. Then they attacked. Here we go. Let's see. Sure, Captain Smurf. All right, got it. Standard movement. Good morning, Commander. <sighs> Where am I? Who are you? My name is Eve. I'm programmed to help you once you're awake. What about the war? Did we win? Unfortunately, we lost. There were some big battles after you were gone, but the human race lost. You might be the last human alive. Damn it. Why am I alive? How did I come here? They wanted to keep you here until a cure for the HX1Z4 virus was found. But the treatment was never found. So you still have the disease. How much time do I have? It won't be long before the virus reactivates. We have to get out of here as soon as possible. While you were asleep, doors between systems were detected. We need to get out of this system and find you a cure. Where do we go? How long was I asleep? Has it turned out who attacked us? No one else except Please me? Please let me stop you. We will have time to talk about those in the future, but not now. Now we have to focus on getting out of here. First we will put on our pilot armor, then we will get out of here using the ship at the hangar. Alright. There we go. All right, first. Oh, I can't save yet? Ugh, okay. Gonna need a save soon. Just in case it crashes, you know? You don't wanna have to repeat everything. Oh, there we go. You can only walk right now. It's kind of annoying. But it gets better soon. Now, say goodbye to this handsome face, because this is the last time you're going to see it. From this point forward, you get to look like a chubby N7 guy. Derp derp. See, I do like this. Like it has this in system or in-game in-setting explanation of why you can read everybody's language. It's 
pretty cool. You all speak the same simply because you've got a wicked cool helmet. I like it. I wish I could run. <laughs> this ship yeah don't worry I will guide you through the whole learning process okay get up here get our ship Sit back for another cutscene. Oh, wait, not yet. First, explore a little ship. Yeah, yeah, cool stuff. A neat little, little area here. Don't really know what any of this does or if it has any meaning. Honestly, you, you almost never will see this ever again. <laughs> it's just a little setting. Here we go, cutscene time. Hi again. I uploaded myself to the ship. From now on, I'll always be with you. Well, that's some good news. I feel so alienated in this situation I'm in. You can power the engines using the engine console. That's it. Now hold on. Looks like we got a pirate flag here. Just floating in space. You know, like flags do. I guess you have no experience of piloting a ship at all. If you'd like, we have a training area close by where we train our new pilots. Yeah, sure. Let's do it. All ships have two piloting modes. Auto mode, autopilot and manual mode. While in autopilot mode, you can only control the ship with using the mouse. Our training area is in Neptune's planetary orbit. We can activate the portal we use to get there with the help of the satellite you see in the distance. I still can't save. Darn. Okay. Click on it and activate this menu. We will head over to it. The commands you give in auto mode will be applied automatically. Portal is open. We cannot proceed on autopilot. You need to handle the ship manually. Okay. Still can't save. Where are we? What are we doing here? 
You're lucky. Ah, here we go. You get to see Neptune's most beautiful color. Anyway, let's take care of business. We better start our training with the scanner. You can think of the scanner as kind of system map. However, unlike the map, it is constantly updated. Here you can see the known locations in that system and the coordinates that you updated. Now hit the T key to open up the scanner. It'll be easier to show on that. I have that set up in uh, using the Steam controller. They have what's called a uh, radio menu. Here we go. What you see is the map of our solar system. This is where you get information about the solar system. I hate that font. This interface is used for manual scanning. We'll come Manuel. back to that later. <laughs> now open your scanner again. <laughs> now, set the target by clicking on training area. Warp drive charging. In three, two, one. Warp started. Warp is used for traveling from one point to another in the same system. You can only use warp starting from a certain distance. You cannot warp to close distances. Here is our mission spot. Neptune sure looks better when you are close, right? Unfortunately I can't identify these ships, but they don't seem very friendly. We need to clear this area in order to go on with the training. I'm adding cleaning up of this area to your mission log. Um... Oh, yeah, yeah. J key. All the details about the mission you accepted is displayed here. Once you are done, you can close this window. Okay. I've marked the mission spot for you. You can take control of the ship and go to the mission zone. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Enemy detected. You don't say. Hello. And boom. Enemy dead. Oh, I don't have the skills on this anymore. That's right. completed your first mission successfully. Now, a bit of economics. In space you will come across things of value. Collecting those, and selling them off will make you money. So, yeah, you have this auto function by holding the alt key. I've got that bound to my left stick. With the auto... Oh, see a little... see the... corner. You see that? Yeah. That's what we want. You want to switch to this mode, get it, and open. And it should open both of them at the same time. There we go. We're just going to take all this junk. Take it all. Yep. And it leveled up. Sweet. Very nice. You've gained a lot of experience with your success. Now it's time to put it to good use. Okay, character sheet. This window shows your expertise. This section shows your specialties. Specialty points distribute automatically according to your play style. I'm not quite sure what With it is. With each means level you get active that. skill points. You can spend those by clicking the skill atlas button. This is where you actually have the choice. Is in here. So that is necessary. Close it. I 
hate that font. <laughs> I located where the ships are coming in. I think there might be a Stargate there. Our way, out of here. I'm uploading that location to your scanner. Okay, scanner. Stargate. Warp. <laughs> Warp drive charging in three, two, one. All right. Just as I thought, this Stargate will be our way out of this solar system. Stargates allow you to travel between different systems. I guess we're jumping. Already did. Thank you very much. Jumping to target sector. Hmm. T1 Narsim solar system. Doesn't ring any bells. There's a space station and a Stargate in the system, but the Stargate is out of order. Do you have a plan? This station can be a start for your treatment. You don't seem to have any other choice. Open and close that little menu. Where? Oh, yeah. Scanner. Here we go. This is pretty much the method. Every time you come to a new system, you're going to hit your scanner. And uh, that's, that's pretty much it. You can actually choose to show the planets on or off. Uh, I like to keep it on, but I mean, there's no real mechanic behind them. So if you want to simplify it, you just turn them off. Uh, and we don't have the galactic map yet. I see. Okay. All right. We are going to this station. Warp. Warp drive charging in three, two, one. I think we have some time. How long was I asleep? Well, I cannot give a full figure. 23 years after you were put to sleep, I went offline. 23 years? Yes, as I've said it's hard to tell exactly, but a long time. The voice acting in this is not exactly top notch, but again, one person studio. It's a pretty smooth game for one person. I can save. Great. Save. Jazz hands. That was my first go at enjoying this game, but I decided to start a new one with this video to share the experience with you. Click to save. There we go. Captain Smurf. Woohoo. Level two. All right. All right. Let's go land. took me forever to figure that out because I'm stupid. <laughs> the first time I tried it, I was like, how do I get to the station? You got to click on it and then you got to hit the land button. You know, that thing that they've spent, you know, the whole tutorial teaching you how to do.
with an open shirt. I wonder if she's an NPC we got to interact with. Hmm. All right, our first station here. Okie doke. Here we go. See? Kind of doofy looking. You just got to get used to it because you're going to look like that, as far as I know, for the rest of the game. But uh, you get to customize a lot of other things behind the scenes, like your skills and abilities. Here we go. This will get us back to our ship if we want to fly away, but we don't want to do that. You can walk around and talk to some of the NPCs. Uh, <laughs> any new rumors? Sure. Duan's ship said, set up a name? Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, that's cool, I guess. All right, sure, why not? Uh, whatever. So anyway, lots of little NPCs here. They're, they're basically just you know, chodes. <laughs> Don't have to worry about them. Uh, stations are largely similar. There we go. Now we can see everything we're doing here. And you can generally get an idea of what you're doing just by opening your map. I've never done anything with a racetrack. Uh, I guess you can make some money, but it's never really been a thing that I've been interested in. So, anyway, let's... Here, I'm once again going to save just just for shits and giggles. All right. Yes. All right. So show off some of my controls here. This is the quick menu. Uh, I've got it configured with what's called a mouse region. So when I open this menu, it automatically switches me to using a mouse in a radius that just covers everything here. All right, so what we're gonna do is inspect everything. Let's look at our character sheet here. We got level two. Oh yeah, we already spent our skill points, so nothing to do there. Let's check out our inventory, cargo it's called. Okay, data core, we can sell that, we can sell that, we can sell that, all right. We got a weight limit. We're going to increase that as soon as we possibly can. We can take five passengers. Uh, we don't have any prisoners. We don't have any passengers. Uh, we don't have any ship in hangars. Uh, we can organize and do stuff here. Like I said, basic, basic RPG stuff. All right. Oh, already did that. There we go. Missions. What are we doing? I'm looking for the cure. Find someone to help us. We don't have any contracts. And nothing completed, nothing failed. All right. Let's see. We can look at our ship. This is our, you know, modify things, get better weapons, get better turrets, get better lasers. All different kind of fun stuff here. It's, it's You can get pretty hands-on with it, and I like it. It's also got some description here. The virtual shield. Our ship has the shield. So the ship that we started with in the tutorial had like some kind of a nuke area ability. I don't really know. I've never used it. This one's got a shield. It's going to activate whenever we use the, uh, the special power button. I always forget it's there, though. <laughs> okay. And we don't have any craft to do yet. No, I'm not sure what they're looking for pilot panel. Oh, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Contracts. I've done a few of those. Okay. Uh, no. Great. I didn't mean to talk to you. Anyway, let's find somebody. Hey, what? Let's talk to this, to Miss Titties here. Is that with Tip Titties? Yeah. Sure. Okay. All right. Let me double check some things here. Where did I put my space bar? Oh, 
forgotten. Aha! Shoulder. All right. Where is the bar? Space bar. Here we go. Punks. Pretty much if they're not named, they're kind of pointless. No need to talk to them. There, that's who we want. Okay, she wants us to go do the thing with a ship. Need some money. I don't have an account. A lot of reading. Anyway, plot, 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 plot. Let's get to the good stuff. All right. Oh, get a level. Cool. Now, we need to get a Galaxy Bank account. So that is all the way up here. Out of my way, bitches. All you gotta do is come over here. Hit this. We're gonna hit new account. Oh, bam. Yep, banks are exactly what you think they are in an RPG. You store stuff there. Okay. Great. I don't have anything to put in that account. So, open my account. Great. Dooby dooby doo. Oh, yeah, leveled up. Okay, so what we're aiming for is the cargo expander. The cargo expander is great. We need that as soon as we can. It's going to make things a lot simpler. So, the path to that is to get the miscellaneous tool first. We got to do this three times before we can get this. So if it says X slash Y, you got to do all of them to move on, to unlock the next levels. I mean, all the other stuff is pretty good, too. We want to get that cargo booster as soon as we can. It's just going to be great. I promise you. You can trust me. I'm a doctor. Right. Yes. Okay. Mining. Mining. What is a mist tool? <laughs> Misc tool? I don't know what that stands for. Benor. Okay. We're going to get a free misc tool. All right. I love free stuff. Free stuff is great. So we're going to go to this guy, Benor, up here. Come on, free stuff. No, wait, where are you? You in here? Ah, no. Damn it. The map isn't always accurate. <laughs> you, you gotta go down and get hands on. You know what I'm saying? Anyway. Benor. There we go. All right. I got a misc too. So now in order to install the misc tool, we need to come over here. This is it. No, that's where we can buy ships. Yes. Okie doke. Right down here, we can, we can mess with our ship that we got. 
and we can click and change whatever ship we want if we got multiple. Uh, we can also rename it and do all kind of fun stuff, but no. Right now we just got one. All kind of groovy things. We're gonna drag this there. Okay. Got it. Yes, that's my ship. I do not. I am very interested in a free drone from you. You are trustworthy. A thief? Can't have that. No. I will blow her up. Oh, yes. We want to get that drone. That drone is useful. But first, we're also going to talk to this guy. I am here for the mission. Rise. We are going to a space anomaly. Yes. And. I agree. What shall we do? All right about all oh yeah yeah i want to sell all the rest of my junk you find a market the okay a bit of advice here there's markets and there's traders a trader is for a very specific thing a market is where you can just buy and sell goods all you want this guy there we go. Then you go to merchants to sell this kind of stuff. We're going to sell all. We're going to sell that. And sell all. And we now have 500 space dollars. <laughs> Not enough to do anything with. It's fine. It's fine. We're going to we're going to make some money. Oh, yeah, we got to talk to what's her face again. Okay. Yes, I have the misc tool. I got another level. Wonderful. Thank you for that. So, once again, character panel we're gonna level up so this uh, increases its power so, yeah, makes it versatile that's good and that's gonna help us mine faster we're gonna do some mining and some people shooting back to the ship let's save it I like to save a lot in this because unfortunately I get random crashes. I didn't use to get random crashes, but something changed. I don't know, maybe I installed something, but the crashes are coming a lot more frequently now. Okay, now that wants us to scan again. We're gonna do that. Now we're gonna hit scan, and little things are gonna start popping up. Hey, asteroid field. Let's go do that. Warp drive charging in three, two, one. Yep, and that's what I thought. And we're going to get attacked. <laughs> All right, where are you? Enemy detected. There you are.
one down. Oh, you have a special shield power. I'm gonna use that. Energy. What the fuck? Okay. Get up close and personal. This is taking forever. <laughs> there we go. I think we are by ourselves now. We can start mining. All right. Let's switch to scan mode. Misc tool. Got it. Yeah. So it's basically we're going to start salvaging things. But first. Hold down the alt key to there identify the mines you can gather. We are going to get loot first. Any other green dots? None? Okay. Bam. All right. What we got? Iron. 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 We want to find the good stuff first. Uh, okay. We're going to get that. We're going to go mine some nickel. usually some platinum, so we want to find that as soon as we can. All right, I'm going to start breaking apart. We're going to get all the mining goodness out of it. And as this is going on, you can see our cargo is filling up. Three nickel. Each one weighs 11 pounds. Shield pack. Ooh. Huh. Gotta be a platinum somewhere. There's almost always one. Well, let's get the nickel. Okay, this one's closer, so we're gonna get that one first. Gold. All right, gold would be good. Now you can collect this stuff and start using it in crafting, but we need money. Right now, money is first and foremost the thing that we need at this stage of the game. Crafting can come later after we have a lot more space for our stuff.
Hmm. There isn't a platinum in this bunch. Oh well, let's do a little bit of iron. Where are we at? Oh yeah, we got plenty of space. It's also a really good source of experience. You can just kind of chill out, do some mining, get some XP. an entire asteroid field really doesn't take all that long maybe about 15 minutes of time and you don't have to get everything and chances are at this point of the game you won't be able to get everything don't worry about it they are not set locations they do randomly return and every time you come back to one everything regenerates including the encounter so you know if you just want to shoot some pirates in this sector, just exit the asteroid field and come right back in when you're done. All right, I am going to finish mining this field and uh, just speed things up and we'll catch back up in just a few moments. Okay, as you can see, we have uh, filled up our hold we have 993 out of 1,000. Uh, if you take a look throughout here, you'll see we've only got two rocks left that we could potentially mine. They're both iron, though. We can't fit any more in our hold because iron weighs 10 pounds a unit. That would put us at uh, three pounds over, which would prevent us from being able to hyperspace. And it's a long flight back without hyper jumping. But check this out. We've got... We gained two levels just mining in this one field. So let's uh, go ahead and clear that out. Oh, actually, you know what? That cargo expander is pretty cool. But bonus XP? Even better. That's what we're going for. I forgot about that one. Anyway... Now, what we gotta do next is get our scanner. We're just gonna go back to the station. We're gonna warp. Warp drive charging in three, two, one. Having to do this flight without hyperspace would take hours. It's not worth it. Okay, we click it, then we go to dock. No, you cannot, unfortunately, skip the loading scene here. Okay, let's go sell our loot and our mining spoils. All right, 
Iron ore. Sell all. Look at that. We went from 500 to over 8,000. Sell all. Nickel ore. Sell all. Um, that shield pack, you know. Okay. Let's see if we can install it. If, that actually might be worth it. Otherwise, we're going to sell it for the monies. Oh, I can. All right. Yeah, we're installing that. Definitely. Yep. 100%. So this, see, it says capacitor on it. Uh, we have an energy limit of things that we could install. Different ships will have more. <laughs> this actually might be a good opportunity for us to install one of the better mods. I don't know if they sell it here. I've only ever bought it in other systems. But if they sell it, it's a mod that increases your cargo space. It is so worth it. Does this guy sell? No. This guy, weapons, no. Citizen, uh, what? <laughs> All right. That was cool. Um, does nobody here sell mods? Oh, the trader. Oh, should be this guy. Let's see. Aha. Oh, there we go. Modification. Capacitor or scan accuracy, miss tool booster, cargo enhancer. 5,248. We're going to get that. Increases it by 200 kilograms. And that, and in the long run, is worth the cost. Very much so. Um, we're, we're, we don't need to buy any turrets right now. You can actually get fairly okay guns as drops from enemies that you take out in the early game the weapons that you start with well i'm playing in easy mode so <laughs> they're good enough for me although no who knows your experience may vary let's go ahead and install this mod takes 55 out of our capacitor but it boosts our cargo wonderful and for that there we go oh, oh yeah <laughs> derp step away from here try this now yep 1200 so much better uh <laughs> wow yeah one fifth bigger that is going to allow us to mine more and uh, collect more loot from enemies. Anyway, this is the point where we would head off to do some more of our missions. Uh, we've got the financial troubles that we need to do. Even though we've already made up the money, I'm not quite ready to do it, to turn it in. I want to milk this system for all I can before we leave. So uh, we got a mercenary contract to do and we got a drone thief contract to do. This is where I'm going to stop this first video. I think this has been uh, a good ride. We've got some money. We've got a good starting foundation. We're ready to go take on the galaxy. Uh, I hope this has been educational for you and maybe maybe convince someone um, else out there to throw some money at this developer so uh, they can uh, reap the rewards of their time spent on this game, but also uh, it, have more money so they can finish making Spaceborne 2. I'm really excited for that supposed to come out later this year but you know whoever knows uh, anyway i'm npc uh, thank you for your time with this and hopefully there will be more uh, space games and space beer with spaceborn again tonight i have been drinking the dark star imperial oatmeal stout from fremont brewery in seattle 
Uh, it's pretty tasty. Uh, I mean, again, I'm not really much of an oatmeal stout kind of drinker. But uh, I, I'm kind of sauced. <laughs> so, uh, this is delicious beer. And with that, have a good night.